Hi guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today we're going to be learning how to build an E2 Hawkeye which is used by well loads of navies actually. Um, the Royal, Navy, uh, Royal British Navy, Royal British Navy? Royal Navy uses it, I'm pretty sure it does anyway. Uh, it's this really weird looking plane <laughs> as you can see. It's got this uh, basically a radar dish, it's an early warning I think it is, airborne early warning something like that. Quite interesting, um, kind of like a big radar dish basically that flies. Uh, you'll notice also I've used, well, not using shaders, uh, just to make it a little bit clearer for the tutorial. But yeah, what materials are going to need? We're going to need a black wall, we're going to need a button, we're going to need a court slab, a stair, and a full block. We're also going to need a fence gate, fence, never brick, and never brick stairs. So the texture pack I'm using is LD Modern, but now I'm going to show you guys it in default. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the default texture pack. Still looks really cool. And for a change on this one, I'm actually going to do the tutorial in default. The reason being that quartz blocks, um, particularly, don't don't show up great on my text pack. They're too smooth and solid because of all the mid modern kind of buildings. But in default, they've actually got a really good border. So hopefully it'll make it easier for you guys to follow the tutorial. Um, but yeah, I'll probably do that on a couple of tutorials at least, just to make it clearer for you guys. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just place down the first wheel and just put buttons on this one. Grab your slabs behind this, we're going to go 10. So you're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you've got 10 slabs attached onto the back of it there. Grab your full blocks and you're just going to go up one block here. And this is going to be four. So you've got 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then you can have three slabs on there. 1, 2, and 3. So that'll give us the base. Okay, and then for the next bit, what you're going to do is grab a block of quartz. Just place that directly on top of this wheel here. They're going to have never brick, and this is just the darker material. Use any sort of dark material. I guess this is the darkest we've actually got for default. Just place a block on there, and then do it upside down at never brick stair as well. If you now grab your quartz stair, we're just going to wrap one around here, so just on the side, just on this full block here. Do one this way, and this is going to be 13 in total, so 13 stairs. You already got one, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then the 13th one, we're going to turn this way. So it should just connect into that block we put before. And then we're just going to put a slab in. So, same on the other side. This one looking this way. That's one. And then we're going to have 13. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And this one gets turned to there. And then place your slab on it like that. Okay, and now what you're going to do is you're going to grab a block of glass. And just put this on the white part there. And then one on each side. This, you're going to have 12 blocks of quartz behind these glass then. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, so it should overhang by 1. Then you're going to have a upside down stair, and then a slab. Same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 12 will be overhanging. Upside down stair, and a slab, just like that. Right in the back, you're now going to have 6 blocks of quartz, so you're going to have them directly on top of this. Um, slab that we placed, so you got one, two, three, four, five, and six, just like that. Okay, and then for the tail piece, what you're going to do is right on here, you're going to put two blocks, then you're going to have a stair, and now what you're going to do is you're going to have two slabs right on the side. Now you're going to have to use some sort of block here, I'm just going to move one block to that point, <laughs> a bit weird, but you're going to have a stair this way and then a stair this way, so if we can see that, it's just raised up a little bit. And you're going to have a slab here and a slab here. And then two blocks here, like this. Two blocks underneath. And you're going to have upside down stairs facing towards the middle of the plane. So you've got upside down stair here, upside down stair here. Right at the top, two upside down stairs. Uh, two Norway stairs. God, on that. <laughs> okay, so now let's try and do it on the other side as well. This time I've actually, I know it all. So um, we're going to have a slab here, slab here. We need to work our way up. So put a block on here and just go a couple like this. Have your stair this way, a stair this way, take that way. Then on our lower part, you're going to have a slab, then a slab, then a block and a block. Blocks underneath as well, two blocks. Two upside down stairs facing the middle of the plane. And then you're going to have two just going this way as well. That'll create a tailpiece. It's really odd, but that was the closest I could get to it. Okay, and now for the next bit, grab your quartz slab. You're just going to put one on the top of this piece. Then grab your quartz stairs. This is just going to go across. One, two, and three. You're going to make a basically a little circular piece. So you're going to go here and here. 
here, here, and then here. So you're basically just um, going around in a 3x3 three three square as such. You can then just put a slab on the top if you want to. Uh, that's what I did on mine so that that little piece here has got this tiny little bit of height where you'd actually stand, I guess. That's the only place you can really jump. I don't really jump, really, to be honest. But anyway, <laughs> that's what I've done there. Then you're going to have a slab going across here, like this. And the middle one, you're going to switch out for a grey piece of wool. Um, just like that. And then this is going to have a 3x3 three three box. So you've got 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. This is actually where the uh, wings come off, which is what we're going to be doing next. Okay, now for the wings. So the first thing you're going to do is just grab your block of quartz right here. I'm just going to place a block and have three slabs on the lower piece. 1, 2, and 3. Same on the other side. 1, 2, and 3. So now if we just go over to this side... And we're just going to grab our slabs again, go onto the upper piece, right on the front piece there, the front of these three slabs, or not slabs, blocks. And then we're going to go 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Next one is 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then the next one is 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that'll give us that. We should have this little piece that's gone down a little bit. Do the same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then a 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There we go. Counting with Dakar. <laughs> anyway, now what we're going to do is do the engine. So it's going to be two slabs over. We'll leave these two. Go to the third one. Put blocks directly. Actually, switch these out and put blocks in. It's the easiest thing to do. Uh, just put three slabs on top of this piece. On the front, we're going to add an extra block of quartz. Then we're going to put a black piece of wool. Shove a button onto it. We're going to have a fence on the top, a fence on the bottom. And fence gates on the sides. Just like that. This is the engine piece. Then we're going to have a stone stair underneath. Right there. We're going to go one, two. Then this last block is going to be a grey piece of wool with a button on it. Pretty simple. So, same on the other side as well. Leave these two. Go to the third one. Cut out them. Put in your four blocks. One, two, three. Add an extra one on the front. Bam. Then add a black piece of wool, put a button, put a fence on the top, on the bottom, and then underneath or onto each side, we're going to have the fence gates. I also forgot on this one actually, we need to put the slabs on, and this slab here we actually need to extend, so maybe it was a good thing we did that. And then we're going to have stone stairs right underneath here, and then one, oh, four blocks, one, two, a grey piece of wool, and then a button on the back. Pretty much like that. Uh, so what do we need next? We need to grab... I'm just going to run over here. Grab the never brick fence. So we're just going to attach these into the actual wheels. So right underneath the engine piece, just on the last piece of the, the quartz block, put a never brick fence, put a black piece of wool, put some buttons on it as well. I'll give you another wheel. So there we go. Same on this side. There. Bam. Bam. And bam. So that'll give us the actual normal plane. You could just use this as a normal plane if you wanted to, but let's attach this radar piece. Okay, and for the radar piece, what we're going to do is put a slab on the back of this block that we've got here. We're going to go slab, block, slab. That'll cover up the little gap that we had. Now on these blocks, we're going to put a stair this way, stair this way, put a slab on there. Then in the middle, we're just going to add a slab, then add three going to the side, one, two, three. On the back, we're going to go three, so one, two, three. Next one, one, two, three. Next one, one, two, three. And you can see that we've just made a weird cross. Just add one to each of these sides. Like that. And you get... Did you get a Celtic cross? <laughs> That's quite interesting. Oh, God. There we go. It's Celtic cross, and all you're going to do is just put in a slab, go in diagonal off these, and just fill this in. Like that. So I just fill these parts in here, and that one... Like that. That's what. That's pretty much what we got. Uh, now on my one, the the one that was actually before, the, well after this, I actually put in an extra block there. Uh, it just made it look. I don't know. It just centered it a little bit better. But that's pretty much it for the E2 Hawkeye. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the tutorial. If you have, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.